Okay, here's my replication of Slider 2732's uh, wireless transmission, inductive power transmission. Pretty simple build. Very nice. I'm using four conductor telephone wire. I think that's about a six footer right there. And a uh, MPSA06 transistor. I think Slider was using two conductors, but I'm using four. Just wire the first two in series and follow the rest of his instructions. And you got yourself a little inductive power transmitter. I'm running off a of one single double A, one of the flat ones that I have laying around. Probably one volt on there. There's uh, the primary pulse is about 250 kilohertz with a ringing, AC ring, and overall it's running at about one megahertz. I did run this with a, a flat 9 volt battery too and the battery got real warm, the transistor got real warm it's kept on going and then I switched to a an old laptop battery which was 3.5 volts and that blew out the transistor I think it had a little bit more current than that 9 volt so it lasted about a second I had to replace the transistor. There's no base resistor on this. If you want to run anything more than a one volt or one and a half volt battery, you're going to need something like that. It's bi directional LED. You can kind of see a red tint to that green there. And you can flip it over. Now it's primarily red. So, oh, there you go. And this thing will activate from this circuit too. And it's probably drowned it out by the bright light. I got the light running pretty heavy here. Let's see if I can turn that down a little bit. Might go dark. I got a replace this 5k variable resistor Let's see if it shows up a little bit better yeah that killed the oscillation yeah this 5k resistor is kind of spooky weird it's either on or off so I gotta replace that I think you can kind of see that That's kind of cool. Alright. Check out Slider's channel. He's got more detail than what I'm giving. Oh, there you went in the dark. Thanks for watching.